Hello, this is Ekushan from Twitter. Today we're going to talk about uh, mounting uh, the HDD uh, from PS4 on Windows um, and only specific partitions. So it's uh, this is an easier method if you only have uh, specific partitions like uh, the the update partition, the user partition, uh, the EAP VSH partition, and you want to to mount the the HDD uh, specific partitions with uh, with that um, with, with those. Uh, so uh, requirements. So first you need the the dot the WSL config. Uh, for this you need you also need WSL installed. Um, WSL you can I, I think it can be two, but if you if you have one it will, it should work as well. WSL one should work as well um, then you also need the BZ image this is UFS read only uh, for UFS read write you'll need to compile your own BZ image so you as you can see here you you have the dot WSL config you can see here that uh, this is this has the WSL2 header and uh, the kernel supplied is the C users uh, Zakushan and BZ image. So this will be the kernel supplied for uh, for it, uh, UFS <coughs> UFS read only. Uh, also, you need uh, uh, the CM tab. So for this, you need this specific file. It's called the CM tab. Uh, I already uh, made one uh, f uh, for you guys. Uh, I, I will put all these files uh, uh, on the, of the requirements on the zip, and I, I will put the link on the on the description. Um, for this CM tab, I am using uh, STG13, which was extracted f uh, from uh, Sigwin uh, as user partition. This is just basically the file uh, STG13, so uh, for ho for 420 uh, gigabytes of um, of uh, size for the user partition for a um, for a, five, a 500 gigabytes uh, uh, HDD. So this is to mount the user partition. Uh, uh, yes, of course you you will also need the keys. You can force this with the uh, from uh, from S Flash if you have uh, the older models of console, and uh, if you don't have the older models of console, you can also use a kernel dump from uh, one of your um, one of your uh, uh, hacked systems, and you can use this to to access the user partition. So uh, at the time the, the, the key file is at uh, mount C uh, HDD keys.bin. So if you go here to um, C and you go here to HDD, you can see here that uh, I have my keys file uh, keys.bin, which is this. Uh, also, you need to know the IV offset. In my case, since it's um, it's uh, one of the very early fat models. The IV offset is zero because of a bug. Uh, if it's it's uh, one thousand and two hundred, uh, the your model or above. So uh, later fats, uh, slim, uh, uh, pro pro models. You need to specify the IV offset according to the um, to the to the partition. Uh, uh, number on Linux. Uh, this is on Sigwin, so this 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 doesn't this won't work. The the 13. So you need to mount it first on uh, on Linux and and check out uh, the um, the user the user uh, number on 
on uh, on Linux. Uh, you can also see on the wiki uh, there is there's a so, some sort of uh, cheat sheet for uh, uh, for it. Uh, in this case, uh, the the number will be um, let me put it here. Uh, in the case um, of uh, user partition, the number of the partition will be 27 so you do this you subtract 27 with 1 so this will give 26 and then you uh, left shift I, I believe 32 uh, and this will give a really big number let me check what's the really big number so uh, 27 minus 1 26 and then you just do uh, left shift and 32 and this will give this number left shift 32 and this will give this number and you just copy this number and you put it here for the user partition okay so uh, in my case it's uh, it's uh, it's just IV offset 0 because it's a uh, it's an early fat so uh, I can just use this uh, IV offset uh, another thing um, the IV offset will change for each uh, EAP partition so in this case for update the, the, since the number changes the IV offset will also change so you have to be careful with that uh, so second of all you also need the, the EAP key partitions so I've chosen EAP VSH uh, update and user and you also need a folder so if you go here to the HDD you can see it has the EAP VSH update and user and if you check here the CM tab you can see here that it has mount C HDD user mount C HDD update and mount C HDD EAP VSH so this is how you usually mount the um, uh, the EAP partitions. Most users were using the, the entire HDD but uh, that's not really required when you, you usually only want to you to modify uh, the the user partition so most of the times you only need this uh, this part of CM tab and you just uh, grab the, the specific partition uh, from Sigwin you just go here to C Sigwin and you run the batch file and you just go cat uh, dev and stb13 uh, in my case it, the the number is stb13 uh, yes uh, this also must be run with uh, administrator privileges because it might not work uh, what what i am doing here so please be run this as as administrator okay so you just go here and then you put it on C drive, C uh, dev, uh, no, uh, st, no, uh, hdd, stg, 13. So yeah, uh, this will just copy everything. It will take a couple of hours. I am trying to work on a better method to do this. Uh, I'll probably ask around. Um, so after you have this, you should have here on the on the HDD. Uh, for example, this is EAP VSH, this is uh, update, and this is user. So you you have the keys, you have the partitions, you have the folders. So next stop is to open the Linux command line, and you just go here and the first thing you do uh, is to apt install so do apt install crypt and you put the password it says it here it's already installed so you don't need to do anything else 
then you just go to um, sudo nano etc crypt mount uh, cmtab and then you can see um, it has these um, these three partitions they are all uh, properly um, done so um, the name of the file shouldn't matter but uh, you should have the the correct name to to know which uh, correct partition to mount so in this case the directory is user so the 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 name of the file here should be correct for the for the user partition and of course the av offset and the, the proper keys same for update same for eap vsh so after you do all this you just go and uh, sudo crypt mount eap vsh so this will mount uh, eap vsh uh, if you go to the to the hdd folder where, where it will mount in a directory you'll see nothing however if you go here from the from the mount chgd eapvsh and you list it you can see here that it has files so you can just copy these files and you can do stuff with with them um, another thing that you can do is um, mount the um, user folder well let's let's go to the update folder first you, you can mount the update folder and then you go to update and, and, you, and then if you want you go here and you create the folder for the for preventing a PS4 updates you can do that if you want but uh, it's not really important um, and then finally if you want to mess with the user partition you mount user and then you go to user and this is where all the fun stuff is if you go to C, uh, to app you oh okay this needs more permissions sudo su cd app and you can see here that uh, these are all the games that you have installed uh, i think one of them is netflix the other is um, the other is Sonic Mania, the other is um, Delta Rune, and there's a, a fourth one which I don't remember. I think it's YouTube, but I'm not sure. So yeah, you can just uh, copy minus R. So this will copy all, uh, recursively all these files to wherever you want. So I can just go here and um, put it uh, somewhere. Um, let's see mounts c users execution desktop and you can just uh, put put it put it here you can just use a dot to copy everything inside it so it they will show up here so um of course this is uh, this is a little bit slow uh, it's it's it might take a while because some games are a couple of uh, gigabytes uh, others are are smaller um you need you also need to to, to take into consideration that uh, uh, the uh, the application uh, the application files uh, the packages um, if they are bigger than a certain size they will be per console encrypted so you have to be careful with that uh, so you can't mess around I, I believe it's uh, apl application packages uh, with a size bigger than two uh, gigabytes so yeah that's there's not a lot of room to to mess with so uh, I will just cancel this and uh, let's see what we have here so as you can see here we have the app dot package you can just delete this um, we can go here uh, back and you go to app meta and you can see all the meta files for the um, for the for the games that we have for example playroom which is uh, the 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0001 you can see here everything 
the images so if I want I can just copy the icon 0.png to um, again to um, on C users execution desktop and uh, it will be here so as you can see let me check the playroom so yeah if I want to get another icon 0 I can just go to um, uh, for example 129 I have no idea what it is but let's see what it is let's copy the icon 0 so this is Netflix uh, and you can do, you can do all, all sorts of things with the, with this. Uh, you cannot uh, edit the um, the the file system directly because this is um, UFS uh, read only. So you need to compile the kernel to be UFS read write. But on Linux that that has uh, some problems. So you need to. Uh, if you if you if you if you have some problems, it's because. Uh, uh, it's very hard to deal with uh, with uh, with a kernel built with uh, read read write to UFS uh, on Linux. Uh, I am not sure what the problem is, but I have tried in the past, and uh, the be the best solution is to is to use external tools for it. So yeah. So that concludes uh, today's tutorial. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, and I will see you guys on uh, the next video.